It was not an easy journey for me. I was never afraid of dying. Hindi ako takot mamatay kasi gusto kong mauna. Ayokong maiwan. I want to go ahead of my loved ones. But what really bothered me the most when I was diagnosed was when the doctors in Stanford told me I would never have children. That's when my world started to collapse. So parang ang dami na bubunti sa, you know, sa Manila. Bakit ako? Oh, parang it's so hard pala. Um, and so that that was the hardest for me to accept. And I was single at the time. I was just engaged. And, um, you know, an aunt visited me in 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 California. And I told her, you know, because everybody was so somber and so sad about it. And I, I told her in private, you know, the doctor said I'd never have children. And I thought she would be in a drama mode. She just said, oh, what do they know? They're only doctors. Just pray. Just pray. And that snapped me out of it. And that's the only option I had left to pray. But, you know, looking back now, prayer is not a last resort. It should be the first option. And so I just kept praying and praying. And I, I, I'm blessed with a, a daughter who just graduated from college a few weeks ago. So after so, that, I said, I have to give back. I cannot not give back with all these blessings I've had. Wow. That's quite inspiring. Thank you. Yeah, for, the cancer you journey, you know, was a wonderful spiritual journey. Many things happened. I mean, people think it's just all physical inconvenience. But, you know, there was a moment um, when I sat down. And it's as if all the events in my life were placed in a card shuffler. And they were shuffled. And then they were reordered or resequenced. So I know why one event had to happen to the other. I saw the rational behind everything that happened to me in my life. It's it's really weird. And even when I was sitting in my bed, when I first got home from my surgery, I actually felt a heavenly presence sit beside me. I, You know, <laughs> there was a dent in the bed. So many, many other beautiful spiritual things have happened, even within the family. And so there are many blessings.